everyone, we're going to solve the trick equation 3 times 1 minus cosine of theta equals sine squared theta on the interval 0 to 2 pi. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, write this quadratic term in terms of cosine. Or in, yeah, so we have sine squared of theta equals 1 minus cosine squared of theta. The reason I want to do that is we have a, a linear, uh, uh, cosine is linear here. And I can't change this. But I can change the sine squared to cosine. So now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this by distributing. You get 3 minus 3 cosine of theta equals, and use substitution, and write this as 1 minus cosine squared of theta. Now let's uh, move everything over to the left-hand side of the equation. Add this cosine squared, so you get cosine squared of theta. Then we have minus 3 cosine of theta. Subtract the 1, so you get plus 2 equals 0. Now we can factor this. Just factor it as normal. Just act like this was uh, x squared uh, minus 3x plus 2. So this would be uh, cosine uh, x theta minus and cosine theta minus, and we need 2 and 1. So this one was pretty easy. Let's factor it like that. And now we're going to uh, set each piece equal to 0. So we have cosine theta, add 1 to both sides, equals 1. And we have cosine theta equals 2. Now we find where theta uh, cosine is 1. Cosine is 1 right here. So that means our angle is 0. We are not going to say 2 pi because it can't equal 2 pi. Now for this one, if I write this in fraction form, remember cosine is adjacent over opposite or hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse cannot be smaller than the adjacent. So this is an extraneous solution. There's the extra solution. It's not possible. There's no way because it just doesn't work. So basically our only solution is theta equals zero. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.